All right, we got your main power coming in. That's from the battery. Going out of the relay, that's going to the cell. We have to have a ground, okay? Since this isn't metal, it won't ground, so I had to put a wire on it. Okay, I also had to have a ground for the relay to make. So it's up through this wire right here. All right? Positive, I come off of this terminal. This positive could be anything. Ign accessory switch, ignition switch, whatever you want to make it. As you can see, it's not going to draw much power. It comes down, and it picks it back up out of the block. comes down to your switch, and that's what energizes the relay. Okay, what we're going to be using the relay for is to make power to come through the switch and back down to the relay. Okay, so we've got our other power lead coming down, our plus 12 volts comes down, goes in the very back of the relay. There's a diagram up here to show you which one it is. You want to wire it up so that it's normally open. Okay, and there's a picture on the front. Okay, the positive comes through there, comes up, comes into our pressure switch, goes back, the signal goes back, goes into the relay and turns the relay on. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. And now I'm going to kind of demonstrate what's going on, okay? We don't have an engine here, so what we're going to do is we're going to use an air compressor to turn this switch on, all right? As you can see down here, our switch is still on, but we don't have any gas. So we, we got to get the engine to run, so we're going to turn the air compressor on. You can hear my switch it on that the relay comes on. But we're not making any gas yet, okay? This is your on and off switch. So you turn your car on and nothing's happening. You have to wait for this to be made, for this switch to be made, which means the engine's gotta be run. We're gonna simulate that with an air compressor. Okay. Now we're making gas. Your switch is on. This switch is made. It's going over here. Turns the big relay on. And as you can see, we're making gas. Okay. Say you're driving and you, something goes wrong and your engine dies, but you lose oil pressure. And the nice thing is you also lose your gas production. It turns off your cell. Your key's still on, but because you don't have any pressure in the engine, it shuts itself off. This is really handy for people that tend to turn their car on and wait for whatever reason. They get a phone call or whatever, and they'll turn the car on. You're not going to be generating any HHO gas. All right? It's got to be on, and it's got to have oil pressure before it'll happen. Uh, there's been incidences where people have lent their car to other people and they'll turn the car on just like I said and then they will start it and then they got to buy a new air box and that's not good so that's the way it works you saw how it worked this is how I wire get wired this is Rainmaker 0909 I gotta go bye